Alright guys, uh, so today I figured I'd make a video on the Marlow Tilt just because in the future I'm going to be doing a video for the Ambitious Card Routine and I figured it would be a good idea to uh, go over this move in depth before I get into that, the actual trick. So, uh, let's say the Spectator mixes up the deck and they can really pick any card that they want. So let's say uh, they pick this one. Now like I said before, it doesn't matter which one it is. Let's say they pick the four hearts. If you want, you can actually have them sign it. Um, it isn't really necessary. Uh, but anyways, let's say they take the four and they were to put it into the middle of the deck like this. You could just snap your fingers and now you have the four on top. So um, it's got a few applications to it. So uh, watch. Let's say we can take the four. We put it back into the middle. And then again, it comes back to the top. So there are a few applications to it. And um, the principle itself is really simple but it might take a little bit to learn. So if you guys want to see how it's done, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's how the effect actually works. Um, in reality, this is just an illusion created by uh, some angles and some shadows. So like I said, the principle is pretty simple, but uh, this is going to take a little bit of practice. So I'm just going to go over, just like the performance, um, you can have the spectator just pick a card, okay? And in this case, while they're picking the card, it doesn't matter which one it is, um, the biggest distraction that you could have, or the biggest misdirection that you could use, is you could have the spectators write their signature on it, or you can just have them, you know, hold on to the card and ask them, you know, is this an authentic card, does this feel real to you, or something like that. Um, but all you're going to do while you're misdirecting them is you can push over the top card. Once you, once you get better at this, you can just push over the top card with your thumb, pull it back, and get a pinky break. Okay, so from the front, you shouldn't see anything. From the back, you have a little pinky break, and now all you're going to do is, as you can see, there's this little fleshy part of my hand. All you have to do is move that out of the way, like this, and now what you have, and then you can prop it up a little bit with your thumb at the front, prop it up a little bit, and then pull it back down. And now what you have is a little, it's really tiny, okay? In this case, it's tiny, but you can make it bigger, uh, depending. So let's say that you have your, uh, your gap like this. Okay, this is pretty much how I did it in the performance. It's just this little gap between the top card and the rest of the deck held on by the pinky break. And as you can see, that card is actually now resting on that, you know, fleshy part of my hand. So when you first start out, what you can do is you can hand over the card to the spectator. They can be holding on to it or something. And while they're not looking, you can just come over with your right hand and you can just pry off the top card like this and set it up nicely like that. And now you have a really perfect uh, break for the Marlow Tilt. So you can do this one-handed once you get better at it. But anyways, let's say you would take the card and at this point, this is how the the uh, you know this, these angles actually work. So you don't want to have this side to the spectators obviously. So you want to have your hand curled in a little bit like this. Okay, so they're looking at the top portion. And you want to have the deck angled up slightly. This way from the front, okay, they can't see anything. And when you stick the deck, or when you stick the card, what you're going to do is you're going to leave it flush with this bottom portion. So you're going to stick the card into the deck and you're going to try to press the card that's in your hand as you're trying to press it down as hard as you can or as close as you can get this bottom portion. So you push it in like this. And the best thing to do actually is to get a little get a little bend in the card like that when you're pushing it down. So kind of angle it inward. In this, at this point you can see that there's some shadows going on and it just creates a really nice um, depth illusion. It looks like the card is going into the middle, but in reality, it's just going second from the top, and you can push it in. And you want your hand to be angled, uh, angled upward into the side a little bit, so you can stick it in. And the spectators from the left into the front really aren't going to see anything. And uh, if you're kind of smooth with this, you can get away with the spectators being on the right. But just try to get everybody kind of centered over in this general direction, so you don't really have any problems with the angle. So. And this thumb covers up the angle on the side here, so you shouldn't really worry about that. Uh, so let's say your hand's angled upward, it's to the side a little bit, you can stick your card, you're going to put that right there at the very bottom portion of the deck, you push in, you have the little nice depth illusion, you push their card in, and then at this point you still have that pinky break, and all you have to do with that is open up your hand a little bit and put your thumb on top really casually and no one's going to notice a thing. So at this point you actually have their card second from the top. So from here you can say, look, your card's in the middle of the deck, snap my fingers, and then you do a double lift. So it's really simple. 
And if the spectator has their signature on the card, um, it's, the, the trick is even a lot more powerful because obviously there's no way that you could have used a duplicate card. So at this point, when you flip the double over, you can also flip um, flip it over again like this, and you kind of talk a little bit, and then you know misdirect them, and then say, watch, I can also take your card and put it back into the middle. So the entire time the spectator thinks this is their card, but in reality, you know, you just did that double lift. You put the uh, the the uh, you know the random card into the middle of the deck. You can snap your fingers and say, look, once again, your card has jumped to the top. So it's a really simple move. Um, I hope this one is going to work out for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.